When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Continue to drive as normal after this van. Maybe even the car. Just pull up on the left somewhere there on the yellow line. It's okay, you can stop on the yellow line, it's fine. Don't worry too much about the driveways, just take your time. No rush. Careful. Take the time, slowly drive on, and just follow the road ahead. For now, at least. The second half will give you directions in a bit. speed limit 22 we've reached a sign where it's changed to 30 so now we can exceed 20 we must wait until we reach the sign very short story I failed my first driving test because that's what I did I went 25 actually just before the 30 mile an hour speed change After 300 yards, turn right, Orange Hill Road. Look at him. <clears throat> Could I touch it? Oh. Look at his face. Do you think it's a bit close or what do you reckon? Yeah, a, bit a little bit, yeah. That's Sorry. <laughs> Let's reverse the roles. Imagine you were that person and the learner came that close to your car. Good, nice distance here. Safe. Turn right, Orange Hill Road. Excellent with your directions from your set now before we're done. Very faint road markings here. I'm even struggling to see where these stop lines are. If there's any bicycle box or anything, it's so faint. Yeah, <clears throat> this is good positioning. Well done. And then when we do get the green light, I'm going to move into the crossroads. You see that tar line, that crease down the centre of the road here. Mm -hmm. That's the centre of the road. So ideally, really, like the van behind us. You see how it's turning right? Yeah. See its position? Oh, it's it. Yeah, we want to be stuck to it like glue. So just slowly edge up towards it and just take position alongside the line. Excellent, and then we just stop and wait here, don't we? Good, and there's that light that was changing red. It's very helpful for us to know that that bus is going to stop and we can get going.
After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5109, Dean's Lane. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Didn't do the same thing we're doing, I can even see the Tom Tom on the dashboard there as well. Same thing, same model. Good driving instructor. Make sure you have a double check on the right there before joining the roundabout. Ah uh, yes, yeah, if you were going to turn right in the exit after 12 o'clock, yes. <laughs> we did go a different direction to the sat-nav, so just ignore the sat-nav for the moment and follow the road ahead. We are way over the speed limit, so that would be a serious driver fall. Watch out for these 20 zones. Okay, so the sat nav has rerouted. I guess what we could do is just follow the sat nav again. That's okay with you. Thank you. After 200 yards, turn right, Lindhurst Avenue, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Field Gardens, then turn left. And just slowly stop next to oh, someone in the car, never mind. Follow the road ahead, thank you. Turn left, Woodcroft Avenue, then you have reached your destination on your left. reached your destination, Woodcroft Avenue. It is on your left. Continue to follow the road ahead, so this will happen on the test. Second level will say we've reached our destination. Examiner will say just to continue to follow the road ahead, drivers normal, and they and I, in this situation, will give you the directions for the remainder of the test. At the end of the road, turn right. Jesus. <laughs> Way too close. Are you looking to the left at all? Uh, yeah. If we didn't have a blur over your <laughs> face, everybody at home would be able to tell if you're lying or not. <laughs> you need to look more to the parked cars. We're not seeing them. We're looking at the oncoming vehicle, which is very unnormal for your driving. You're usually very good at keeping a safe space here on the left. And for some reason... It's the pressure. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. We're drifting to the left. So look at your right turn here. You see the white car in front? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the white car and us? 
Yeah, you don't need to crash into it, though. No? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's going on here? There's a question. Um, they're more pointed. Yeah, so you stick to that line. That way people can turn left. Position, very important. And about about turn left. Feel the drain. Dun, dun. <clears throat> What's happening? Where are you looking? I don't know. What are you thinking about YouTube? Huh? The comments? I just uh, Everyone I don't judging know. you? No. Who's the most important person on the planet? Only one choice. Okay, have they said? I don't know. Everybody has to die, you get to save one person. Who would you choose? Um, my sister. Not yourself? Probably not. Okay. I'm selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm the most important person. Do you have kids? I do. Obviously, I give up my life. Okay, we're just coming back towards Mill Hill Broadway. It's a little bit of a high street. Just gonna have a little look at the high street bit and then we'll finish up with some parking. Almost done. You're doing well, all jokes aside. And yes, there's lots of pressure. The driving, real driving test will feel similar-ish. Hopefully not as much as this though. Sometimes people think it's worse. Um, Where is it Turn left. Thank you. Not worse. Easier, I think. This is it, Mill Hill Broadway, High Street. Very busy here. Good spacing for your parked cars, well done. Some of them are larger than others, so they might stick out. Good, so always maintaining that. Watching tennis. Good watching your part of land here. Watching that flower pot as well. Excellent. Dominoes. This guy online was saying how their garlic and herb sauce tastes like battery acid. How very dare you! I love their garlic and herb sauce. I don't know. He said there's only four ingredients, garlic, herbs, mayonnaise, and battery acid. So you've gone too far now. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> All right, we're very close to the car park. So at the roundabout, turn left, and then it'll be the next entrance on the left, which will be highlighted with a big P for parking. There's another P there, actually. So it's guiding us towards the car park already. So if you block a traffic, block the cars there. Good opportunity to go. 
There's the next P for parking, and it'll be the next left, please, into the car park. Fingers crossed it's not too busy in there. Can be a little bit busy. We are doing swan necks on our turns. So what a swan neck means is that you'll steer right now and then turn left. Yeah, is that correct steering? Oh, no. No. So you know the turn you just did earlier? Yeah. That's what you're doing. Oh. Left again. Everybody does it. Back tire's gonna hit the pavement. Ooh, it's a bit close there. So that curb there. Oh. Yeah, just make sure that you've got a little bit of a gap from that curb as you turn, otherwise the back tire might get close. Front tire goes round, back tire gets close. I'll try and demonstrate that with a picture in a sec. Until then, we're going to do our manoeuvre. This is what the examiners will do. They'll take you to this car park and they'll ask you to drive forwards into any bay. Just finish between the lines. To we, any? Yeah. If you haven't done this before and you want some references, ask. Otherwise, take your time. When you're ready, any bay. Just finish between the lines. Can I go forward and back? Yes, good question. You're allowed to do that as many times as you like. We've got around three minutes to complete the exercise, so... Oh, they time you? Roughly three minutes, yeah. I mean, you'll do it probably a lot faster than that, but they give us up to three minutes to complete the exercise. To see yeah, to secure the car first, so yeah. handbrake and neutral, or oh, sorry, handbrake and park. It's me from my menu instructing those. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, you are. You've done a good job. Um, all right. Well, now it's officially the end of the test when the examiner asks us to switch the car off. So we just push the power button, and that's you. Relax. So obviously that's an informal mock test. Okay. These are my informal marks there. Very bad spell and handwriting. Seatbelt was the first one. <laughs> Clearance was the guy with the funny look on his face. Uh, speed was the 20 zone, and I told my boring story about me going over the speed limit before the, the change of speed. And finally, the box junction. Um, I will clarify that curb in a sec, but before I do the box junction, we did have one right turn, uh, and there was this like box in the middle of the road. Sometimes these boxes have got arrows in them. Mm. We turn from here. Oh, I didn't even hear it. Sorry. Yeah, it was very faint. Mm. So what's happening is actually it's, it's a swan neck. So because we're leaning left, mm. instead of going into our turns, mm. it's actually putting you in a sort of more inconvenient position, if you like. Okay, um, the corner bit, like this corner here, so everyone might be wondering what we're drawing, the corner bit here as we come into the car park, it's hard because it's a very, very sharp corner, like pointy. And there isn't a lot of room here on that road, so we can't really drive over here to avoid hitting that because someone might be driving in. It's a two-way road, yeah? So what we need to do is maybe just go out a little bit longer and then turn. Because as the front tire goes around, the back of the car, it's really awkward, but the back part might clip over the corner part there. Mm. You may experience that in the future if you haven't already. Sometimes it's very sharp corners. We go round them, front goes round, bubble, 
I'm like, what the hell just happened? It's just the back tire, it just kind of goes over the corner. So that's it, either if you can, which we can't really because the road's so narrow, have a little bit more space from it if it's a sharp corner. And then if not, we can always go out a little bit more and then turn just in case we think we're going to clip corners. So yeah, it's a bit awkward. And uh, this is one of the car parks that the examiners might ask us to come into. So we'll be coming in and out of this car park quite a bit. You'll get used to this car park because we're going to probably come in. Like All right, um, that's it. Any questions? No. Right, I just want to say well done, by the way. I know I have a tone problem if anyone's still here. I hear it. I hear it. So I apologise for that. And um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And the pressure's real. The pressure is really the main reason why people aren't successful for the driving test. For that reason, <clears throat> I highly recommend something called Rescue Remedy. No affiliations. It's helped a lot of my students with the pressure of the test. So if, I'll remind you of this if you wanted to in the future. I might suggest a rescue remedy again you might want to try it out okay mm -hmm. all right that's it we're going to take a short break see what we want to do next until then ciao ciao